Okay, the first step for Hummingbird chart select, you'll need a 2 gigabyte SD card, which I've got right here. I've got my laptop situated. We'll insert it. This is Hummingbird Chart Select. If you go to the Hummingbird website, you can get there. Um, I have it already set up as a favorite. You come to Hummingbird, chartselect.hummingbird.com to the store. I allow my computer, it's got GPS in it so it knows where I'm at. Uh, I've selected Missouri area here. It knows I'm here. Uh, with the Elite Series coming up next week down here on Bull Shoals, I don't have the most current map. And I'm going to like to show you some of the new screen captures from it. So I'm just going to add that to my cart. And I'm going to select my... We'll just do the Helix 12 Chirp DI GPS. Add to cart. Check out. It knows me. I'm going to log in here. And I need to run and grab a credit card. To protect my privacy, I'm just going to skip this stat. This I'm not going to show this because I don't want to show you my credit card. Put your credit card number in, the expiration month, expiration year, and the three-digit code on the back of it. And we'll check out. And we'll jump in on the other side here. Okay, now we're on the other side. Uh, we've uh, entered our credit card information. And what we need to do, we've got an encrypted SD card. We need to encrypt an SD card. We'll jump in and I'll show you how to do that here real quick. Because I have not encrypted this card. Okay, we're here at the Helix 12. Going to insert our 2 gigabyte SD card into one of the card reader slots here. You hit menu twice and come over here to setup tab and come down here to encrypt SD card. SD card was successfully encrypted. Now we can go back to the computer and upload our map. Now that we're back at the computer with the encrypted SD card, we put it in the computer. We'll close out of here. We'll go back to our screen we're on. Plug the blank SD card in. Download your chart, PC download. This just tells you how to encrypt the SD card, which we did. Download the installed check downloader. It's going to download the chart select download file. Once we get it, We'll be uploading Bull Shoals Lake. This is awesome if you live on one lake or you just want to try Lake Master out. You can come in here and get one map on an SD card. Try it out. See all. See what Lake Master is all about. That's awesome. It's uh, simple, cheap. $29.99 for Bull Shoals. It's a huge lake. We're just uh, installing the chart select loader. And we'll be ready to rock and roll here real quick. Just follow the instructions on the screen. I'm doing it fast. I've done this before. Sign in. So Windows 10 is a little bit different because. And we're going to do Bull Shoals version all. You got to browse your drive. Oh, we put the Smart Strike card in instead of the. Good thing we didn't do that. That was a smart start card. Got our SD card in. Now we can go. It's 
select our E drive, open. Now, when you click on this, we've selected our drive and we're going to download. It's a compatible card. Add our Smart Strike card in there. Going to show you that in a, in a new video coming. And it's downloading the file to the SD card. You can see here that the download is completed. So we'll take our SD card and we'll move over to the unit and I'll show you how this displays in the unit. There's our SD card. Now we're back to the unit. We got our blank SD card that we uh, put the chart select map on. We'll install it. It's loading charts. We'll zoom out here. Start driving down south. There's Palm de Terre. Springfield. And there's Bull Shoals Lake. And we're at Lead Hill. Brandon Polinick won it right back in here a couple years ago. But not the last time, time before. Go we'll see if that old road bed back in there. Fish attractor right back in that West Sugar Loaf. But that is Hummingbird Chart Select. Take a drive around the lake. Just downloaded it on the, on the computer. You still got all your same current functions. You got shallow water highlight. We got our depth and range highlights. Lake list is the just the bull shows same thing as a uh, there's East Sugarloaf man I made that run a lot of times go look at a couple places I know here real quick that's up that's Big Creek this is Theodosa there's the Missouri state line. Now that's very handy right there. There's state line. So if you're fishing the border, Lake Master shows your state line so you know where to fish if fishing regulations change. And that is one thing that's important. You can see that bright white line right there. Ding, ding, ding. That's Missouri. This is Arkansas. Looks like they got the fish attractors in there. Cut my teeth right up here. I think that point right there. Well, long time ago, old John Sappington and I both turned pro in the Central Pro Am at the same time, and we both pulled up at that same exact point the first day. Pretty cool. Man, look at the details Lake Master gives you. They lead in definition. And man, they got way up that. There's the Theodosia gas dock. Man, they are almost up into trout country. Trout hatcheries up here. Look at that. Way up there. That's a long ways. Almost to Lake Tanicomo, Power Sight Dam there. See if they got to the dam. Yep, they scanned all the way to the dam. There's the Lake Tanicomo that's right below Table Rock. Dumps in to the mouth of Bull Shoals. And look at that nice flat. Man, you can see the contours. Good stuff. 